Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use visual calculations, which is a new Power BI update, which is a revolution in DAX. Now you don't have to write complex DAX logics to calculate running sum and moving average and others that you can directly use in the visual level calculation. And I'm going to show you that. So for data, I will try a sample data and load sample data. I will use this financial data. So our data is loaded. Uh, let's create a chart. So I will add visual and I will add year, month and I will add profit. Okay, so our chart is ready. We have this profit measure in this chart. Now we want to add a running sum of profit. So for that, what we have to do is we have to use visual calculations. So we will have to go to options and settings and add that visual level calculation feature. So for that, go to file, options and settings, options and a window will pop up. So here you can go to preview features and go down and you will see a visual calculation. So take that and click on OK. It says you will have to restart your desktop. So I will restart this. So now here on the top right, you can see a new calculation is added in the calculation box. So which is grayed out. So whenever you click on any chart, any visual, so it will a new uh, calculation will appear. And if you click outside, it will be grayed out. So you will have to click on any chart and then go to new calculation. Now I want to add a running sum. So you can uh, go to this FX button, insert an expression template. So we have pre-added templates here. If you click here, you can see running sum, moving average, percentage of parent versus previous versus next. And uh, these uh, are the pre-added expressions. So let's choose running sum. And it's saying field, running sum of field. So instead of field, we can add whatever we measure we want to uh, show the running sum on so we'll add profit so i'll add sum of profit which which is used in the chart and then click on enter you will see a uh, running sum has been added go back to report now you can see how easily we have added this measure earlier if we had to add this measure what we had to do is we had to create a new measure i will show you how we did earlier so that you can understand uh, what benefits you're getting. So I will write this measure of running sum profit. So earlier we used to do calculate sum of profit. And then we used to filter this financial table and add a filter on this all selected and then we used to add the this date column which is date column is less than equal to max of date and then close the filter and then close the calculate so this is our running sum uh, logic, which earlier we used to uh, do to get this result, which we have in the visual. So I will show you uh, by using this visual in this duplicate chart. I will copy this chart and paste it here. So let's, let's use it here. So in this chart, I will use, I will remove this uh, running sum and use our measure running some profit you can see it's similar and uh, if i check the value you'll see it's 16893702 and here also 16893702 see how much benefit you are getting you don't have to write these complex logics to calculate running sum you can directly add using visual calculation let me show you by adding another calculation here so i will go to a uh, new calculation or we can directly right click and go to new calculation here, uh, I will choose another template for moving average. And here I will, in field, I will choose profit. And 
window size is basically how many bars it should consider i will say let's consider three moving averages and click on enter it will add a moving average in this chart orange bar is the moving average so now let's add a new calculation again and let's add versus previous so it basically checks uh, the previous profit it compares the profit from previous profit if I click on enter you will see uh, this is added so it shows uh, that this is negative so uh, the previous profit was higher and the current profit is low so it is uh, showing the difference as negative uh, so this is how we can add build pre-built logics and uh, visual calculation so that was it for this video and uh, let me know if you like the video and uh, if you like this feature in Pobia. Till then goodbye and thanks for watching the video.